G'day, fellas, and welcome to a build order breakdown. We're going to be taking a look at the Maltese and the best way to open with them, at least the best way that I have found so far. Uh, I'm going to start by, by showing you my deck, what that looks like. You guys, I know you guys love to see my deck. Uh, so that's what my deck looks like. Uh, it's got the three settlers in H1. We're going to be sending that. We're also going to be sending this card here, German Tongue. It feels like a very strong card. And we're also going to be sending a very interesting card, unique uh, to the Maltese, which is going to be Wigner Court Constructions. It allows your settlers to gather natural resources significantly faster when nearby a town center. Now, I, ha I haven't done the math, but I'm pretty sure it's about 30%, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. So let's jump into it. Let us get into it. Uh, we are going to be starting off by moving all of our villages onto the food crates. So let's do that. Try and separate them onto different food crates and get our first villager in the queue straight away. And then as soon as that villager is in the queue, we're going to start and move all of our settlers out onto different resources because we're going to need to gather up an extra 100. Uh, and we're not going to collect treasures either. Uh, we're going to need to gather up an extra 100 wood or rather an extra 50 wood. I apologize. So I'm going to drop down the market. Uh, we're going for an early hunting dogs. I think that's definitely the way to play. Uh, and we're going to make sure that these guys are gathering up wood. Very, very important. So we need to get that extra 50 wood. Uh, we've got plenty of resources in the bank here as well. Uh, when we're playing Malta at the start, just to queue up these villages. So now we're getting hunting dogs, and we want to get that. Uh, we want to drop down our our house as soon as possible. So that's why we're just all villages here, because that way we can get it in uh, before the shipment comes in. So there we go. Now dropping down the house, and I'm gonna pick up those crates. Everything's looking good. We've made no mistakes so far. Uh, now there's a, this is one of the brand new maps, which is called England. England, that's correct. We are playing. Uh, with on the english uh map our our first uh our first thing is in right there uh and so with that there's a whole bunch of new treasures uh so you have a, a tree speedy which is worth nothing up here we're gonna we're gonna kill this this is a gunman treasure so we'll take him we'll get his tr peace treaty um and uh yeah i mean at, at this point in the game we're, we're pretty chill now one of the things i've actually enjoyed doing is just getting gangsaw just get it in the first age um, it, it obviously delays your age up a little bit, but I think it's actually better to delay the age up. I'm, I'm still kind of in two minds about it, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure. This is a great treasure here. So these are guarded by beasts. That is correct. They're kind of like jaguars, you can see. They don't do a lot of damage. Um, so you can actually kite these away to the edge of the map. And so we'll do that now. I'll kite them out. So it's 170 food. That's a lot of food, right? Let's see if we can get the shot. Doesn't look like we did. There we go. We'll get that one though. Oh, we should. Oh, it took too long. All right, we're just going to... There we go. Nailed it. So we're going to try and keep this guy out on the edge. See if we can bait him in. And just make sure we're not taking damage there from the second one. We are. Oh my god. Okay, we got him. Alright, we're doing well. We're doing well. If that comes in, we'll just shoot it. God, we're taking a lot of damage here. We're taking a lot of damage here. We moved after the shot. Moved after the shot again. Now, I don't know whether we should actually pick this up just to maintain the integrity of the build order. I'll, I'll just show you my, my cool micro. Run away. Run away. Nah, we'll kill it. We'll kill it for the XP. Okay, so age up coming through. It's going to be your classic uh, quartermaster. We've now already got our next shipment. Uh, so we're going to move everybody over to wood. We're up against Tiawatha. So you can see that he's already beginning to build up quite the, uh, quite the formidable force here. Uh... We've got the, the trade route above us, which is what we're going to be looking to, to take. I want to thank uh, that fellow down there. we got there. coming in right now. Thank you very much, pal. Thank you very much. M wet. M wet. <laughs> yeah. I like that he Arthur came in, killed the Guardian, and he's just he's just peacing out right now. Okay, so in the transition period here, I've determined that the best thing to do is actually grab a trading post. So making a bit of a mistake being away from that trading post. Uh, but that's all right. We'll, we'll fix up our mistakes. I'm going to do a little bit of hurting here as well. Here, we'll have to just chilling out in, our, in, our, in the base. Hey, here, here, come here. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the XP. I probably shouldn't have killed him, man. That was 100 XP. That was a lot of XP. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, so now in the transition period, it's, it's really important that I gather up 250 wood. That 250 wood, I'm going to be spending it on this right here, which is going to send me two settler wagons. And get this, it's also going to send me the equivalent. It's basically a second town center, but it, it's, it's not really a second town center. It's a second town center with a caveat. The caveat is that you can only make settler wagons from it, and you can only make up to a maximum of five. So you can see we're about to hit... Um, 
uh, about uh, we we want to get to 350. That's that's what I've theorized to be the best. All right, well we're over 350 now, so we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna move over to gold as well, uh, just because we. My, my theory is that we do actually want to go quite heavy on our resource upgrades with this sieve. Uh, and the, the reason why is just simply because you've got this upgrade here, Wignacourt uh, Constructions, which stacks up pretty, pretty insanely. Uh, and so now we're going to be able to drop down our field hospital. We're going to put in a forward location because it does actually heal. This is going to be replacing our standard barracks. Uh, and so we'll, we'll keep scouting out. We're just, we're just demonstrating the build order at this time. Just remember, let's get our upgrades. So we want to make sure that we've got enough resources here uh, just to continue uh, just to continue to, to be making units uh, we don't really have a lot of units a lot of a uh, lot of resources in the bank so here we're going to be making these bad boys the sentinels these are kind of like your musketeers the only thing is that these guys are very very population heavy uh, and so that means that uh, unfortunately uh, you're going to you're going to have to drop a lot of houses let's just put it that way uh, so we've we've got our card coming in now which is going to give us our settler wagons it's also going to give us our... You can you can see how much I'm struggling to, to get this gold in. So there's our settler wagons. And we also get our nice little wagon, which is the common dairy, which is the unique building here uh, for the Maltese. Our first, uh, our first units are out. Let's go send them over towards our enemy. We'll train some more of them up. And so this is going to enable us to train a settler wagon. Now, not only ha can we train settler wagons, but we already have two settler wagons. So that's going to potentially limit us or, or, or cap us on the amount of settler wagons that we can have. Uh, so we can't go crazy with it, but it's basically acting as a second, I mean, technically even a third town center because of how effective settler wagons are. We'll just, we'll just march these guys around. You can see our, our timings here aren't the best, uh, but we are working towards, there we go. Beautiful. We did get everything that we needed but now you can see I'm, I'm definitely struggling with my collection of, of wood so i'm just gonna have to reallocate some fills here but i have now got a bonus that i want to talk to you guys about it's really really important this bonus here is from the card now you can see i've got a nice little buff around my uh units here kind of like i'm playing as the as india so basically uh the, the same thing as the Kani Mata. uh and this aura extends out pretty far and the way that it works, it's based on your distance from the town center. So over here, these guys are affected by the aura. Uh, I'm, I'm still population capped. There we go. <laughs> Jeez, that, that took a while. Let's drop another one down. It, it is it is very unforgiving. These guys cost a lot of resources. Uh, and we, we might just grab... Actually, let's just grab this card. Why not? It's a little bit of a booming card. Uh, so take a look at the villager gather rates here. So this villager down to the south... It gathers at 1.09. It's got steel traps as well as hunting dogs as the upgrade. 1.09. Take a look at this villager underneath the town center. 1.39. It is gathering 0 0.30 food a minute or a second rather more. That is a lot of food. That is a crazy amount of food. And, and it's just not food. It is gold. It is wood. It is every single thing that you've got is gathering faster. The ba That base rate is 0.55. It's now gathering at 0.73. So I think you'd be absolutely wild not to get that upgrade as quickly as possible. I'm going to go and put our trading post down to the south. Now, one of the other things to talk about with the brand new maps is that you've actually got a trading barge here. This travels at a very fast rate, which means that your trading posts are worth a lot more than one, what your standard maps would be worth because you're getting more passes. So it's really important to remember that, you know, you should be... 100% prioritizing fighting over the trading posts. The trading line is going to determine who wins these games, who loses these games. Uh, and you might be wondering whether this is about around uh, every town center or whether it is uh, just around the main one. It is around every town center and outpost. So we could, we could extend it out. Let's say, you know, you want to come up here in, into a nice little safe spot. You could do that. Uh, and then you would still get that buff coming up. So it is, yeah, it, it's an absolutely huge buff. Now, one of the other things, the commandary, uh, you'd look at it and you go, well, hold on a minute. That can actually make a Hussar. Yeah, that can make a Hussar as well. And it's not just any Hussar. It is a, um, it's a, it's a pretty strong Hussar. It's called an Order Hussar. Um, now, I don't think they've got any other way that they can make Hussars. They don't have a stable, uh, but they do have the commanderies. And I'm going to show you a pretty cool technique that you can use with the commandary. Uh, so let, let's take a whole bunch of our units up over here. And for whatever reason, we've decided to make a commandary over on this side of the map. Uh, we need, We probably need a little bit more a little bit more gold for our commandary. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this guy down over here. All right, let's just... We'll, we'll go right there. And now what I can do is I can actually garrison. I can garrison my units inside the commandary. 
And like a Nidus Worm out of the Zerg from, the, from StarCraft, I can put them into the commandary. And you guessed it. What's up, motherfucker? Surprise, motherfucker. Boom! Everybody is now over here. That is correct. That is correct. It's got a cooldown on it. Uh, but essentially, you can now just do... You can do crazy. You can do... I, I, I'm, I can't wait. I really can't wait to see the stupid shit that we are going to be seeing with this. They literally have a teleport function. They have a Nidus Worm. Yes. This is the brand new multi-civilization. This is the most busted civ in the game. Yes. 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 All... all you know, tick everything, tick all, tick all the above. Uh, so that is what excites me greatly about this sim because just think about it, right? Like, okay, you're expanding up towards the north. You've got a town center that's down there. What do you do? Like, you're trying to defend both locations. You can't. You're getting raided. Boom. I'm just going to pop some dudes over in my commandery. I'm just going to send, you know, eight troops up here. And then, boom, they pop out. Nice and easy to defend the, the position up there. You don't even have to think about it. You don't have to worry about the walk distance. They can basically just expand anywhere. And I think that's going to be really key for them because this upgrade is only for natural resources. So settlers gather natural resources significantly faster when nearby a town center or outpost. So I, I really feel like with this sieve, you're going to be moving over the map. You're going to be, you know, making sure to take advantage of all the natural resources that you can and then defending your location with the commandaries. Now, in addition to that, you've also got other units that you can make. The other one is this bad boy right here. This is called the Hospitala. Uh, he is a melee unit. So basically think of him like a pikeman that is very, very strong. It, he's like, he's a bit weird. I'm, I'm trying to think of another unit that, like kind of like a doppel, uh, but without the the AoE damage is probably the best way to think about it. Let's see. Let's do a bit of selling here uh, just so that we got more more resources. Uh, but yeah, like he, he count, he, what is, his description says that he's knight, uh, armed with a great sword, absorbs some of the damage inflicted to nearby allies faster near buildings. And that's another thing. You've got buffs for your units, depending on, uh, whether they're close to buildings. So you can see here, this guy is stronger near, near, uh, buildings than he is away. So that's, that's another thing, right? Like you're playing a defensive civilization, but just when you thought you're playing a defensive civilization, we'll send that and you'll see that we're not. So this is the, uh, this is the Hospitaler. It comes in. Um, and this guy here, he deflects damage. So you can see here he's got a, a deflection. So absorb some of the damage inflicted to near, nearby allies. So maybe archers or something like that. And then he also runs faster near allied buildings. So he's got a five movement speed when he's near his, uh, when he's near allied buildings, but then he drops down to 4.5 when he's outside that. And you can tell that he's got the, the radius or the, the aura on him just because of that. You can see it, it seems to be very big. <laughs> it seems to be really big. Uh, I, maybe it lingers for a little bit. Maybe that's what happens. Uh, but you can see he's dropped down to 4.5 now. There you go. He's picked it up again. So it's, it's a pretty decent sized radius here. Um, but then for these guys, uh, where is th there's this guy up here. Uh, so you can see he's on 176 health, 24 attack. Compare that to this guy, 213 health, 29 attack. So a big difference between these two. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a very, very cool civilization. I think it's definitely going to be based around you know, moving around the map, mobility, that sort of thing. Um, you, you've definitely got it here with the commandary, and it's just going to be about defending. You've got stronger troops uh, when they're near buildings. It all makes sense. And the other thing that I love about this Civ is they've got a way to bring new units into the game constantly, and you're able to do that through the commandary. So as an example right now, if I wanted to train Hussars, I can do that. I don't need to drop a stable. I've already got that through the commandary. Uh, and so what? how would I do that? So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's get out our age up actually give me a second here there we go uh so we oh interestingly we don't have the um we don't have the exile prince what are we going to go with here an order galley enables armed pistoliers and cannoneer hiring at the tavern i think i'm just going to go with the order galley it's a bit of a oh speed always wins let's go hell yeah brother all right that's all we needed so now i'm up to the next age uh, I've got access to some really cool cards here. If you you guys know from Age of Empires 4, there's a civilization called the Abbasid Dynasty. Well, it looks like they may have taken... Oh, we got Scott Deathridge coming in. Thank you very much, pal. Thank you very much, pal. Uh, so you'll be familiar with the Abbasid Dynasty. They have uh, something called fresh foodstuffs. Well, this is a fresh foodstuffs uh, sort of uh, thing. So basically, it enables you to construct an additional town center and makes settlers significantly cheaper to train that is correct a 50 percent reduction in cost for your settlers so if you're thinking you know fresh foodstuffs yeah it's the exact same thing uh 
and it, it's it basically just guarantees that you're always going to be able to afford to make settlers there's never going to be an excuse for you like oh i gotta make military no you can always make settlers uh the other thing that i'm looking forward to showing you is this one right here which is the spanish tongue it enables you to uh train lancers just in the same way here that we can train settler wagons okay i can also train lancers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to issue that shipment uh, now, not only am I going to be able uh, to train lancers, uh, but I'm also going to be delivered a shipment of Garachistas, which obviously I, I, I'm pretty confident it's like the um, the the it's a slightly better version oh, than, you. The standard, the, than the standard than the standard age three now. lancer. Finally, you are online on own account, so I can spend my sub on you. What kind of O4 map is this BTW? <laughs> Thanks, Maelstrom. Very, very sweet of you. Yes, this is a new Age of Empires 4 map uh, called Age of Empires 3. Uh, it is it is a rare one. Uh, but so you're going to have access to new units uh, from your commanderies uh, once you've once this shipment has arrived. Now, this guy can also take in shipments, so don't forget that. You know, if you're under attack out here, you want to reinforce. you got to be careful. The enemy's like, you know, maybe the enemy's looking to push you underneath that. they got to be careful. Why? Because, bam, the Garachistas can come at any point in time, and they can look to demolish you. Boom. There they come. Obviously, the commandary wagon also comes as a military wagon. Not, I, I would have thought that would be an economic thing. Not going to be the case. Uh, so, Garachistas coming out. You can see they've got that extra 10% attack, an extra 10% um on on health as well that might be because of that might also be because of shipments i'm not 100 sure uh but now of course i can also train the order lancer that is correct i can now train the lancer so the the spanish lancer i've now got oh, access to you. it so i'm stealing it away papa mario jr thank you, very much. thank you very much for the prime gaming but yeah that, that's essentially it that is the look at uh, malta that's the way i've been playing them they're a lot of fun they are a great civilization i feel like they're very based around infantry uh, they've also got if you're familiar with uh the old han army from china they've got a card that is exactly the same as that uh let's put a whole lot of love on let's put speed always wins on nine hundred dollar reduce whoa thanks gk shaman very sweet of you mate uh so we're gonna get our veterancy upgrade uh, for our Sentinels. Okay, you can see they've got our, their Veterancy right now. Let's go Age 4. So let's do our Speed Always Wins again. Uh, which, which one are we going to go? Five Order Dragoons. Hmm. I think we go for the five Order Dragoons. That seems pretty good. So now we're up in Industrial Age. What do we do? Well, we just get our Guard upgrade, right? Right. And you know what else we get? Well, we can't get our Imperial upgrade, but we can get this card right here. Flintlock Rockets. Grants your Sentinels a powerful charged rocket launcher attack and significantly increases their combat stats, but also makes them more expensive. It increases their combat stats by 50%. It makes them double, it makes them 50% more expensive as well. But remember, it's, a, it's about, you know, it, it's not necessarily about... Um, the, the whole idea here is that you're going to be filling out your army. Like, I, I would suspect this is going to be a very strong strategy. You're going to have, like, a really decent-sized army of these guys. 46 of them, all right? Or, or, you know, even... Oh, my God, 51? I can hold 51 units in a control group? Oh, my Lord! When did that happen? So, I, I can... I, I've got them, and I paid the cheap price for them, and now, all of a sudden, boom. I researched this. That's, like, a year ago? Oh, my Lord, Seriously? And now, now I've got even stronger units. You can see, look at the stats on these guys right now. These stats are ridiculous. Let's let's keep let's just train more. Let's get more of these guys out here. But now they're now they're more expensive though. That's the thing. They're, they're 75 food, 75 gold. So they're more expensive. But the whole idea is that you would you you would get a big mass of them, and then that's when you would get the upgrade in. Just the the exact same way you would do with the old hand army. I think that like made it so it was a hundred percent. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. The, the thing to remember with this unit, it's very pop inefficient. It is, uh, it is a total of uh, a two population for one infantry unit. It's obviously got pretty good stats on it. Oh my god, they have grenade launchers. So the grenade launcher is a charged attack. You can see some of them don't have the the grenades. Uh, but by the way, I couldn't find a way to attack move. Is it just? Oh, is, it's space. Never mind. Never mind. I must have changed my hotkeys when I wasn't looking. So space is my my attack move on Age of Empires 3. Now, do these guys also... Oh my god, they do. Oh my god. 
All right, well, um, you guys enjoy this. You guys enjoy Age of Empires 3 with this unit in the game. How the fuck do you deal with this? I guess it's not going to be that strong because there's not going to be... Like, the only reason I've got so many of these guys right now is because look how many villagers I've got. Like, if we delete these guys, look at my population. Uh, delete? I'm on 67 pop right now with deleting those guys. Like, it might seem like a lot, but it's not. Well, there you guys go. That is your, your, uh... Your expanded look at the build order breakdown for the uh, the Maltese. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We'll be doing an Italian one as well. So uh, for everybody on Twitch chat, make sure you say bye to YouTube because uh, we're going to be ducking out now. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will catch you guys in the next one.